sorry, sweetie. I forgot that was one of your trigger words. I'm okay. Oh, I like the rock. The vet gave you seven cookies? Oh, anyway, do you think maybe you were supposed to share those cookies with the rest of us? <laughs> oh, fine. Hello, everyone. Fisher Biscuit here, owner of largest ever pet shop. With one question for you. Are you tired of shopping for your pet at those undersupplied little neighborhood pet shops? Oh, for the love of pudding. Then march over to largest ever pet shop for a galaxy of choices and out of this world savings. <gasps> That'll be enough out of you, Fisher Biscuit. Although I should do more advertising myself. <gasps> Trash it! Ouch! I declare a foul, as you did not tell me in advance that we were playing the whoever spots a trash can first gets to punch his friend in the arm game. Therefore, I declare the right to deliver four penalty punches onto your spindly reptile. Wait, Sunil! Huh? Oh, are you seeking mercy from my mighty knuckles? No! Look! <laughs> oh, my! Is it possible that you are thinking what I am possibly thinking? It is, if your thinking will be abducted by aliens and have our brains replaced with tomatoes! Precisely! We're being invaded by aliens! You think about all the things that you love to do It all comes true You find a place you never knew where you're happy to Just be you, be you, be you Who you wanna be, yeah Hey, little is pet shop, you and me We can be you, who you wanna be, yeah Hey, little is pet shop, you and me It sure looks like a spaceship that's because it is a spaceship! Ah! I don't know. What is there to know? It's right there, floating up in the sky, full of aliens from another planet whose only goal is to turn us all into their mindless robots! Oh, I don't want to be mindless or mind-probed or otherwise bothered by these alien overlords. Alien overlord? Oh, I know that guy! Your biscuit and annoying old goat herd. I'm guessing that means yes. <laughs> what the heck was that about? I'm not sure, but it did just give me a good advertising idea. I'm gonna hire me a sign spinner. <laughs> Hurry, Sunil. We gotta get Fort Vinny put together before the aliens come charging through our front door. And would you mind telling me why this fort is automatically named after you? Why is it not being called Fort Sunil? Hmm? Fine. We'll call it Fort Vinny and Sunil. And would you mind telling me why your name automatically comes first in the fort title and my name comes in the second place? Fine! Fort Sunil and Vinny. Hmm. Much better. But with all of that fat chow stacked up, will it not be more of a bunker, really? Unless you want to be mind-controlled or otherwise mind-probed, I'd get busy dragging some more of those sacks of pet chow over here. Mind-probed? Yes! <laughs> ah, let's see. What are you doing, Russell? I am attempting to create a universal language in order that we might communicate with these aliens. My hope is that I can convince them that we mean no harm and wish to peacefully coexist with them. Oh, yeah. I was gonna do that, but since you already started, what do you got? <coughs> well, excuse me for asking. No, Pepper. <coughs> it's all I got so far. <coughs> Like a 
mop is any better? Ha! Do you plan on wetting the floor so the aliens slip? I can assure you that me and my scooper will do just fine in defending Fort Sunil. You mean Fort Vinny? Fort Sunil. Fort Vinny! Fort Sunil! Hats, hats, hats! Let's all calm down. Minka is here to save the day! What are you talking about, Minka? How do you plan on saving the day? <sighs> How soon they forget. Don't you all remember the time I landed on Mars? There were aliens there, right? I can handle any aliens that might try to invade us. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Twombly, I just have one question. What's that, Madison? Would you mind repeating everything you just said? <sighs> of course not, dear. Your job as a sign spinner is to draw customers into Littlest Pet Shop. How you do that is spin the sign fast, but not too fast. Add some funky dance steps to let the people know you're having a good time, and bring it home with some Kung Fu moves. <laughs> make any pedestrians want to come into the shop and spend some sweet moolah. Understand? I think so. Good. Show me what you got, kid. <sighs> All right, then. What the, huh? opinion on kind of a silly little something. Silly little somethings are my specialty. Shoot. Um, UFOs, alien spaceships, and all that. There's no such thing. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let me bounce that around in the old noodle for a sec. Hmm. Well, to be honest, Blythe, I can't be certain they don't exist. What? I mean, I can't really be sure if what I saw were weather balloons or lightning or a trick of the light, but I've seen some really weird stuff up there over the years. One time I even saw a cloud that looked like my Aunt Laura. Does that answer your question? I'm not sure, but thanks. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that also means that my dad can't be certain they do exist. I think. Took a hit on the Lady Liberty costume, but at least I got a partial refund on that arrow sign. Hello, people with money to spend. Our daddy is Fisher Biscuit, and he, like, owns this awesome store. Right, Brittany? You are so, like, right, Whitney. <laughs> oh, he owns largest ever pet shop, which is, like, the best pet store in all of downtown city. <laughs> right, Brittany? That's right, Whitney. All those other pet shops, especially the littlest, tiniest ones, are just, like, Nuts to that noise. I'll show you, Fisher Biscuit. You have my solemn oath! Sorry, dear. That was just a motivational outburst played for dramatic effect. Can I have my pay? Boy, <laughs> 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 put your hat back on! Yes! A thin layer of shiny aluminum foil is all that stands between you and being made to eat foods you do not like! Huh? He's right! There was his pet I talked to who said he was abducted once and they made him eat all of his vegetables. <laughs> Here comes the airplane. Here. Mm, true story. Uh-huh. And who was the pet that told you this? All right, everybody. I don't think we're being invaded by aliens. But I do think that you saw something. Something that, like my dad said, can't be explained. You two were the first to see what looked like a spaceship hovering near the top of a building, right? <laughs> yes, you're correct. Where was this building? 
in the middle of downtown city on the way back from the veterinarian lady person. Who gave us cookies that Penny Ling thought were all hers? I said I was sorry. Okay, Vinny and Sunil, no offense, but you two tend to overreact. Hmm, <laughs> true that. Most assuredly. So we are gonna get to the bottom of this. And the best way to do that is for all of us to go to where this UFO is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> You really have been very calm through all of this. I have, haven't I? Go me! So, Blythe, we're going to ground zero of the invasion? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Yeah, I haven't had enough time to work up any jokes that don't involve beetle grubs, and there's a ray gun with my name on it. Pets, please! As I already told you, there's no need to worry with space explorer Minka in the mix. <laughs> you keep forgetting that I have experience with the whole alien interaction thing. These ought to bring in some customers. Three samples! Get them while they're hot! Ugh, these cookies taste weird! What's in them? Beef, chicken, and pork byproducts. <laughs> oh, those aren't cookies. They're kibble cakes for pets. <laughs> That's weird. I thought they tasted pretty good. <laughs> Come on, Penny Ling, hop on! No! Why? I don't want to get tipped. Penny Ling, I promise that I will not allow any aliens to tip you. Friend Vinny, as we draw ever closer to our impending doom, allow me to say that it has been a pleasure and a privilege to consider you both a trusted colleague and a valued associate. Ah, oh, thanks, Anil. Any chance you could repeat that using smaller words? is definitely telling me something. Oh, good heavens! Fisher Biscuit! <laughs> uh, let's play. Whoever spots an alien first gets to punch the other guy in the arm. If I spot the alien first, do I get to punch both of you? No. Minka, this is a male bonding ritual. Thusly and therefore, as a female, you are automatically excluded. I'm surprised they haven't started the invasion yet. There's not an alien in sight. <sighs> That's because there are no aliens. Alien drive on mind probe machine! <laughs> your imagination's under control. Stay back! Ow! Here we are, Blythe. Largest ever pet shop? This is where you saw the spaceship? Yepers, this is the place. Uh-huh, uh -huh. this is exactly the place. place. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, whatever you saw, it's not here anymore. But where did it go? Maybe they changed their plans and decided to invade another city. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I'll bet they went to invade Uptown City. Oh, or perhaps Midtown City. They deserve it. <gasps> Hello, Blight Beasts. What brings you here? Decide to show your furry little friends what a real pet shop looks like? No, they, I mean, I, just thought I saw something up there when I rode by earlier. If you're talking about the flying saucer advertising inflatable thingy, it's like gone. Daddy's 
sold it online to some loser for a huge profit. <laughs> it's amazing what some people will buy. Yeah, like fashion by fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're horrible. If anybody deserves to be abducted and mind controlled by aliens, it's those two. <laughs> First, they'd have to find their minds. Well, at least now we know we're not being invaded. We do? Yeah, didn't you hear the biscuits? What you saw was an advertising inflatable. What does that mean? Well, it's a giant blow-up that looks like it's something that it's supposed to look like, but it really isn't that something, just a fake version of it full of air. And it's used to sell stuff because people look at it, and then apparently they go inside and buy stuff. Make sense? Uh-huh. Makes total sense! <laughs> oh, we knew it was one of those inflatable-latables all along. Did we, Sunil? <laughs> of course! We were only hoping to provide some healthy playtime by initiating a wave of invasion paranoia. So, did everyone have a good time with the fear? No! What the? I don't believe it. <laughs> well, what do you think, Flies? I got it at a huge discount. Practically stole the thing. If that doesn't grab your attention and make you want to shop here, I don't know what will. Where did you get it? I bought it online from a guy by the name of Bisher Fiskit. Bisher Fiskit. Oh no. Come over at the largest ever pet shop, where the savings are out of this world. I'll never give up, Bisher Fiskit. We've been hit by a powerful sonic weapon. Turn around! This planet is far too dangerous to invade! 